Hi, beautiful. Today, Eric is back Woo! on the channel. It's been a while. I'm back. I miss um, you guys. By popular demand, aka nobody asked for Eric to be back. Okay. All right. That is not true. There are many, many people. Thank you all. In for, where? Where? For being concerned with my life. <laughs> Eric was dying to come back on my a few channel. People thought that, no, a few people thought that I died. <laughs> no, some people said we had, a, we had a fight. That wouldn't be totally false. We've had many fights. No. Not just one. No, there was no fighting, but Eric just hasn't been on my channel because- We've been very busy. We've been very busy with Ex Mondo. Eric takes care of a lot of the business aspect of Ex Mondo. We have a lot of things I'm coming on up. the creative side. So there's just a lot going on. We're excited to have him back. Thank you. And today I thought, why not ask you guys what we should do today? So I took to Twitter. I asked you guys what you think I should do with Eric. And a lot of you guys said, do a perm. A perm? And I was like, oh my God, that'd be fun. Like, why don't I do one side? Eric does the other side. And we perm Miss Manny Quinn. Miss Manny Quinn's going back? It's been a while since I've done a perm. Eric's never done one. Never done one. Perming is actually one of the more difficult things you learn in hair school. A lot of people have difficulty with it. So I'm um, planning on Eric having a lot of difficulty with it since he doesn't really have much I... hair talent. Even though that one time you did balayage. And I did a haircut. And it was terrible. And Miss Manny, Quinn, was Miss good. Manny Quinn loved them both. <laughs> she was okay with it. But a perm, you can't exactly undo. Is that why it's a, called a perm? It's permanent. Why don't we break out Miss Manny Quinn Woo! and teach Eric how to do his first ever perm. So a little question for you, Eric. Have you ever tried to roll sushi before? Once. Didn't go too well. <laughs> Have you ever tried to roll anything else in that sort of oh, gesture you know that you kind of go like this? You know what I'm really good at rolling up? Air mattresses. You know when you have to like fold them up and roll right. them up? I'm really good at getting all the air out. So you're probably going to be good at doing perm. A hundred percent. I'm going to use my air mattress skills. Let's get it started. Let's do it. This is not Mr. Quinn. Okay, Eric. This is not her, Brad. I left her with chunky money pieces. <laughs> Eric, remember when I pronounced I, Bali, I, I, Bailey? Can you take a seat for a second? Bailey, I need to tell you something. But, but. The other Miss Manny Quinn's in the trash. <laughs> she passed away. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> Brad! Eric, the other Miss Manny Quinn had her time. This is your new Miss Manny Quinn. I, I hope you can, I feel like you're just, I hope you can find a place in your little heart. <laughs> for the new one. Don't follow these directions um, on how to do a perm yourself, please, because I'm really going over the basics of perm just to see Eric put some perm rods in Miss Manny Quinn's hair Woo! and make it curly permanently. This is not a tutorial by any means. I'm kind of going to be doing a not so great set um, just to show Eric how to do it. It's just gonna be a quick, fun thing we do. It's not gonna be taken like That's what we do here, bro. Too seriously. We just have fun. It's not a tutorial, okay? It's just a fun thing. All right, Eric, we got some clips. We got some combs. All right, what's step one? We are going comb to it back. Poo. Comb her hair all out of her face. <laughs> Does she need more water in her hair? Actually, it's important that she stays nice and moist throughout this process, Eric. We have clarified her hair, um, so we're ready for the perm rods to go in. And now this process can be tedious. We okay. wanna make sure there's no hooks. Everything is wrapped very perfectly. Typically, I wouldn't exactly do a middle part because however you perm her hair is how it will stay. But today we don't really care. I'm just trying to do half of the head and you're trying to do half the head. So it'll still give a cute little effect. It just won't be very wearable. So I'm gonna be teaching Eric on my side how to do it and he's gonna replicate it on his side and we'll see how it turns out compared to mine. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm gonna take from the high point of her head, the apex, down to the back of her ear, and that will be a parting. And then you can put this into a clip. Got it. Okay, that is our section. There's number one, there's A, if you will. Okay, now your turn. Oh, oh, uh, lay the comb down on the head what? this way. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And you part like that. So you're like combing while you're parting. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> wow. So now you comb that forward. Okay, well, you went a little slanted down in the back. Well, it's hard to put a straight line in a spherical object. It looks pretty straight to me. All right, well, uh, everything looks enough. kind of straight. <laughs> We're going to clip this up for time's sake because I don't feel like waiting for you. I'm going to part the middle. Great. Now you could take that side. This is your side, though. Is it? Yeah. Okay, we'll clip it up. Now we start putting the perm rods in. This is the part that gets tricky. Again, you guys, this is, has been a while for me, so um, don't come for me because I don't do perms on the regular. I think perms are coming back in. 
They are. I did a sort of perm a lot, which was a sort of body wave perm. We didn't use rods, we used like large long tongs to do them. So that's what I'm familiar with. And okay. it was very creative patterns we used. You're gonna watch me. Why don't you watch me first? Okay. Why don't you come over here on my shoulder? Top of my shoulder. We take a little bit of a section out of here, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, it's pretty thin. Okay. Um, and we're gonna- All the way across. We're gonna make sure the hair is nice and wet. Okay, that's important. This is just so that you can wrap it properly and there's no flyaways. So we're gonna take our end papers and this is what an end paper is, okay? So it's just a little tiny piece of paper. thin piece of paper. You can call it a piece of paper. So you put one on one side. At the bottom. Yes, and the other on the other side, okay? You make a little hair sandwich. A little hair sandwich and you wet it. And you gotta go all the way to the <gasps> ends of the hair or else you'll get hooks on the hair. Okay. Um, which means you like didn't really do it. And then you gotta hold it there until you get it really tight. Mm -hmm. So you're like pulling and twisting at the same time. Okay, so then you might see some hairs coming off. You gotta keep wrapping them around. Okay. We usually use a tail comb for this. I don't know why I'm not using one right now. You can wrap it around with the tail comb. Okay. You really want it wrapped around. So you gotta pull her head while you're wrapping it so that when you get to the base, it's super tight. And then this gets wrapped around here. Wow. That's a beautiful perm rod. So Brad, I'm not gonna lie, you definitely made it look very easy. So why don't we um, have you try and I'll watch. Okay. And then we can kind of move forward faster. So what we're doing is taking a nice straight section. What the F? That's a good one. What the hell is that? It's good, right? Take it bigger. So I was trying to, of being too perfect. It's, it's my weakness. You're holding it like this and you have this. You gotta go like through and then you, you come so out, you're you come your towards you. on the top of the comb and you part that stuff down, you pull right. that stuff up. Parting is something people had a lot of trouble with in hair school, I remember, and I looked at people like, yeah, it's how hard. could you not it's, part hair? It's like a lot of things, like going in all different directions and... and- You keep doing the same thing! No, I did it right. No, I'm gonna teach you how to properly part. You're gonna do it. I'm, so gonna, I'm gonna do it. No, put it in your hand. Do what you would do! <laughs> okay, all right. And let me walk you through with your hands. All right. No, Eric, you have to lift. I can't, how am I supposed to part to lift it? lift the hair up first. Okay. Right. Oh, okay, and then I go. Yeah, okay. And then I go, and then and I come no, towards no, no, me. No, 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 Hold the f I, I thought you meant this! Okay, we're go going through. in. Go you, you're through now. Yes. So now you move these two, these two fingers down here. You go on top of the comb and grab that hair. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Okay, and then you- <gasps> No, Eric, see, you have to grab all this stuff on the top of the comb. This one has to go up to the top. Yep. See, look at now that's a part. Wow, that was good, Brad. I actually learned a lot from that. It was the claw, yeah. the claw right okay, above the clip, comb. Let me clip this up. Now, your next step is to water it. It's water. I don't <laughs> to shake it. Okay, that's enough, not in the mic. And we're gonna comb it through. Now you have to make sure it's very precisely combed and everything's looking good before you then put the perm rod in. Okay. Okay, now you have to elevate this section so that it is 90 degrees from the head. And comb it okay, that way. That'll give her volume. And she wants volume. Okay, now you do the end papers, right? Make this a little bit more narrow at the bottom. That'll help you. And then we also take another paper and we put it on top. Eric, make sure you're elevating at all times. <laughs> Now you got your perm rod. You start in the middle. And then we go okay, down. And now you slide down slowly. Slowly. Always keeping your finger on that pressure. It's right pressure there. That, that it's right, right there. there. Okay. Oh man, I'm nervous. Okay, you're at the bottom. Yep. Now start rolling like a blunt. Oh, okay. Now keep, or, you it is keep so taut. Keep tension. No, it is so tent. I know, but you gotta keep your hand on the Tense. hair. You gotta keep your hand on the hair too. Cause sometimes it comes loose. 90 degrees. Oh wait, but that looks good though. You went down though. See how this hair is pulling underneath and this hair is loose? Tighter, tighter. Pull our hair really hard. Brad, I am pulling it so hard. See how this thing right here yep. needs to yep. go in the hook. All right, so we're hooking it right across. Woo! Let's do the perm dance. Woo! Woo! She's got a blunt on her face. <laughs> <laughs> this is Eric's. This is mine. That's pretty good. It's really good, Eric. It's your first one. Wow. Pod. Why don't we do one at the same time now? Okay. Okay, we got our section out. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna take a little bit of a bigger section because oh, I wait, don't wanna be no, wait, friend, Look at this, ready? <laughs> All right, Eric, come on. Why is that so hard? It's not. It is. You got that baby on there, Eric. Cool. Oh, when you're when you're turning, this hair is really good for this because she doesn't have any layering in it. Sometimes people have like extremely short layers, and you have to like work with the layering, and it's really annoying. Question: What are the papers for? Um, to keep the ends wrapped in. No, because usually the ends are like very sh um straggly, mm -hmm. so you're trying to like 
contain them. How we doing, buddy? Oh, oh. How we doing? Uh, okay, let's keep moving. Okay. <laughs> Next time, you need to just make sure you're always pulling at 90 degrees really oh. hard as you twist in. So, Brad, I um I surprised everyone with uh, an Ask Me Anything on my Instagram, and there were some questions for you. Top question. Well, who are you talking to? Who are the boys? No. Yeah. That was the top yeah. question. My love life? Yeah. People care? Yeah. Am I dating? Yes. Are you dating anyone? Hell no. Why not? Well, there are a few boys, but... You're on them dating platforms. Are you dating anybody, Eric? Am I? <laughs> uh, Brad, they didn't ask that. So? Yes. <laughs> What's his name? His name's Hunter. <gasps> He's really cute and oh really nice. My. I think I've seen him. Mm, I think you've met him. <laughs> People be scared. <laughs> but not you. Not me. I sleep all at night. I'm not gonna lie, these perm rods are terrible. <laughs> they're like very loose, so they're not keeping the hair um, very tight in there, but it's fine. We're gonna keep working. We're going towards uh, the finish line up here. Up here, we're gonna have to part this into two because this is too tight. Eric, look at you wrapping a perm. <laughs> this is look, so cute. Walking, walking, and walking the talk and wrapping the wrap. <laughs> Oh my god, you look like a little 80s <laughs> hairdresser. The bend and snap works every time. It is warm in here. <laughs> Are you spitting? It's real you're you're sweat you look you look shiny too! Oh he's pissed. Yeah, he looks <laughs> Did you have any questions for me? Um yes, actually. Everybody was dying to know. What were they dying to know? <laughs> Are you a twin? <laughs> I knew it! That's a complicated question. If you ask me, uh, yeah. Well, if you, well, if you, um, if you, uh, and then there's well, that other thing in the in the thing after that, and you know that other thing from the other day. Yeah. And so there's a lot of moving parts and some and, of the twins and tw other twins records know. And, and, um, and then some twins don't classify as other <laughs> twins, maternal, paternal. Uh, so what was the question? <laughs> um, how's your mom? <laughs> She's got. <laughs> Eric, how are you settling into New York City? How am I settling in New York City? That's a great question. So actually, since I've moved to New York City and paid this much for an apartment, <laughs> I have never spent less time in my apartment <laughs> ever and left the city more, loving it. If the question was, am I gonna be here forever? The answer to that probably would be no. Wow. But is if the question is, how am I liking New York right now? The answer to that is, I really like it. It's been almost a year, right? Yeah, almost a year. Isn't that wild? Can you believe I've been here like six? That is wild, <laughs> Six. That is wild. Imagine living in this city for six years. How do these look? Why do you think I'm going crazy, Eric? It all makes sense. It really oh, does. Honestly, now that I know that, it all makes sense. <laughs> um, okay. Well, now that we got that out of the way, you know, are there any other questions? Concerns? Well, comments? there was one other question. What? Oh my god, wait for me. <laughs> what? Do you like Brad? Oh. <laughs> wow. Juicy. Yeah. Brad. Uh, which one? <laughs> um, Pit? You're paternal. What the f is paternal? <laughs> I, think <it's, laughs> I think it's paternal. Yeah, I would say in the limited time that I see him, we have a great time. We have a great time together. We really never see each other. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm in constant communication with you, and we work together, <laughs> and sometimes we hang out after work. And yeah. then sometimes we watch Netflix together <laughs> and text the entire time. <laughs> and then sometimes he'll be watching Love is Blind, and I'll be watching Love is Blind, and we'll be texting about everything that goes on. So Brad, I've been thinking about getting a perm. Me too. Really? Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah. I thought you told me it was a bad idea. No, I want one. You even heard me sit, talk about that every day. No. What? I have selective listening when it comes to you. <laughs> selective hearing. <laughs> would you have bigger curls or would they be smaller? How would it exactly work? Well, it depends on what rods you use, what kind of perming solution you use, how long you leave that perming solution in for. Brad, is she gonna look like George Washington when she's done? 100% great. <laughs> Wait, is this all my section? Yeah, it's so the, just the last one you blended to? Mm -hmm. Just for context, you guys, we've already worked an entire day and now we're sitting here perving. <laughs> so this is not very um, easy. Easy or um, satisfying, and I'm kind of going crazy. So I feel pretty satisfied. I have finished my side. Oh wow! There she is. She's not the most perfect I've ever done a perm, but that's okay. We're not really going for perfection today. We're just trying to get it done. And Eric is. I'm working away over working here. Working away. Show us your side. Not bad. What happened to the sectioning? <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. That, I'm, I'm in the I'm mid section. 
No, it's actually not that bad. It's not bad. No, it's really not. Right. No. No. All right, let me finish. No. Hey, let me finish and get back to you on that. Okay, I'm gonna get started in the back. So hopefully we can finish this today. And we'll be back to talk in a bit once Eric finishes the front. We've done half the back. Again, Show this is not my, my best Show front my I've side. ever done in my life. I'm definitely half-assing it a little bit. I'm so sorry, guys. But um, Eric's actually kind of slaying. Woo! And I'm kind of doing Ooh. just a decent perm, I guess. Again, it's been a long damn time since I've done a perm, so this is not my thing. Eric, please don't stand in the background. I'm trying to get my perm in. Perm lock and drop it. Perm lock and drop it. Perm lock and drop it. But I have a question. What's a question. the question, Eric? How does a perm work? Oh my god! I'm so glad you asked me that question, Eric. Um, the disulfide bonds are broken and then reformed in the shape of a spiral or whatever shape you put the hair on. So with this, in this case, it would be a circle. And then the neutralizer hardens the hair back up into that shape and keeps it that way. That's like me, Brad. I'm like the neutralizer. So while Eric finishes up here, we are going to be using the Redken Creative Curl today. It's for normal to resistant hair, um, and that's all I know about it. If you're wondering what a perm smells like, well, it smells like you cooked eggs and then like a like wet they dog. just rotted. A wet, a wet dog that's wet from eggs. It's exactly no, what it is. No, you can crack eggs on, on a the wet, wet dog, dog and let it sit there for a day. And then it, ro it rolled, you wrapped it up in a towel, but didn't dry it. You just let it <laughs> marinate in, in the dog. And then just straight up blow dried it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's put it in there. It smells horrendous. All right, Three. so you want to hold. Red Normally you would put uh, cotton around their face, Eric, so you don't blind them, but okay. she doesn't have real eyes, so. <laughs> Wait, you're serious with the blinding? Yes, it'll, bl it'll blind you. So I'm doing two swipes on each rod. For now, we'll go back to each rod. You have to make sure you know which ones you've done and which ones you have. Why? What will done. happen? Um, if you don't put stuff on it, then it will not curl. But if you put too much? Yeah, you just don't want to because it'll drip all over the place. Okay, so we're going like one or two swipes at each roll. Now I'm gonna go back actually, and I'm gonna really make sure I get it in there. You can kind of mess up the hair a little bit. You're not trying to go on the root either. I'm actually really excited for what this is gonna look like. Is it gonna be like frizzy permy or is it gonna be like? Well, the hope is that we didn't make it frizzy. Okay. If you do it incorrectly, it'll be frizzy. They're gonna be like curly girls. It'll be like really nice ringlets. How are we doing over there? Really, really nice. So what would happen if you just missed one? It would just, it would be straight, you said? Yes, what do you mean? It would just look like our regular hair. Yeah. So you'd have one strand that's like completely straight and the rest is really curly. Of course. It wouldn't be cute. And so we don't have to use all the I'm waiting solution. Back. They usually give you a lot of extra. All right, you did it? Did it. Are you sure? You got enough on each strand? I don't know. I need just a little bit more. Just do a little. Just a little. Oh no, don't do that. Okay, I'm not doing that. <laughs> you wanna be very precise with this, okay? They're very saturated. Okay, we got that done. We are gonna put a bag over her and we're gonna let that process for 10 minutes to start and then we're gonna check and do our first, our first, our first test curl. Test curl. Okay? okay, where we just see how it's setting. Great, how do you feel? I feel good. Um, I think she's a little death here, but um, yeah, I think she looks good. Personally, I feel good. Is this the big reveal? <laughs> no, it's actually not. It's She's not? halfway done. Okay. So we're gonna actually do a test strand. Look, it's starting to curl and her hair color is, is starting to fade. Oh, I see it. Look, I see it right over here, the hair color. Wait, so Brad, is that what happens? The hair color fades? Um, Sometimes it comes out a bit. Ooh, see that separation we're getting up wow. here? Wow. That's good, but see how it's not separating over here? Mm -hmm. But this is, mm -hmm. that's good. We want more of that. That's what we want over here. This is what we don't want. Wrapping her back up. And we're gonna put a little more wavy solution on that one I took out. This looks like a horror movie. <laughs> and and we're gonna do like 15 more minutes. Plop her back on there. And we'll see you guys when this is all done. We're gonna rinse it and then we're gonna come back and do our neutralizer. That's always a fun step, Eric. Woo! Can't wait. Oh my god, why does she look like that? It's scary, Brad. Eric, let her breathe. Uh, you did it. Don't let her in. Don't let her in here. I'm trying. So guys, we actually ended up finishing the process off camera because it was a very annoying process that I totally forgot about. A lot of rinsing, a lot of neutralizing, a lot of rinsing again. And now we're ready to see our end result. Our end result. Let's see if it actually worked. I'm actually kind of nervous that it didn't curl properly um, because I wasn't that patient. Actually, you know what? I was kind of patient. I'm right. gonna give myself that one. I just wanna say my side is still pretty intact. It looks okay, Eric. This one's it might've been a little bit difficult for me to rinse that. Oh, yours looks really good. All right, let's take the rods out and hope for the best here. 
Start at the bottom. Start at the bottom. And wearing gloves. Oh, it's curly. Oh my God, it's so curly. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh. oh my God, I'm so happy. <laughs> That's actually like a really good perm. Also, don't um, manipulate the curl too much right now. Don't pull on it because okay. it's still kind of setting in place. But I want this in my hair. Wow, mm. I kind of slayed. I was like actually expecting it not to work that well. Mine looks good too. She's gonna be curly girl. <gasps> I have a hook. She kind of looks stunning, like I'm not gonna lie. Wait, <laughs> wait, look at yours versus look at mine. Oh, oh look at my hair so nice. Because I did it correctly. I did too. Oh, and now we get the little mini guy. Mini, right here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we're just gonna run our hands through just slightly just to break it up a little bit and mess up the part a little bit. Just be a little bit more gentle, please. <laughs> <laughs> if you make it frizzy right now, it'll set frizzy. For wow, the rest it looks good. Of, for the rest of her life. It looks good. You kind of slayed, Eric. Yeah, it looks good. It looks real good. Oh my, wait, bro, look over here. Look at, <gasps> wow, look <laughs> at those. Look at those. I always knew I'd be good at perms. Um, I don't know what's going on with this one, but. I'm sorry, whose side is that on? <laughs> <laughs> wait, is this yours? No, ma'am. Check the center part. So let me see yours, Eric. I think it looks really okay, good, okay. actually. I have... Look it, look, look. That is great curl structure. I'll have to see it dry. I don't know what just happened to the top of mine, but the bottom looks good. We're gonna diffuse it with proper curling products and we'll see you guys with the finished results. Eric and I have finished the perm, mostly me, but <laughs> Eric, I held my own Brad. <laughs> we styled it a little bit differently than each other, but it actually looks pretty fierce. It looks pretty good. You wanna see it? <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I want this. Perm. I want this. Eric decided Beautiful. to go for a little more of a structured style. Beautiful curl structure. I went for more of like <laughs> a voluminous style. I would rock Eric's side. I think it looks great. How do you think? Thank you. How do you feel you did? I think I did pretty good. I think there are some points of improvement, especially around the hooked ends. Oh, yeah. There was a few hooks. There are a few hooks here, um, but I think it came out really good and I'm really happy with my curl structure. Isn't that fun? It was fun. Isn't Very it cool fun. that you can just try transform hair with like chemicals and it completely Science. structures it and makes it permanently curly. Like how cool is that? Science. But I'm really proud of you. I, I give this like a solid seven out of 10. Look at that. And I feel like once we actually wash it and kind of break up this like line going on in here, it'll look even better and it'll be very natural and cute and beachy and oof. I'm really obsessed with this wave. I actually think it looks great. I think perms should make a serious comeback and they already kind of are, but I think they should come back even more. And I think everybody should do it as long as you get it done correctly because they can go very wrong, but they're so beautiful. I'm obsessed with perms. Like fun. I think it's so fun and it's so cool. You can just change your hair structure like that. We have a little bit of a glow here from our Viper. Yes, we put Viper in and our BDSM bomb. I love this stuff for styling curls. It adds just enough hydration, enough structure, an amazing amount of shine without weighing it down or making it feel stiff or crunchy. So super great for curly hair. And of course, you know what? An amazing oil is always great for curly hair. Let's shake it out. Let's see how what we can get out. out of this thing. Yee! Oh my God. Wow. She looks fierce. She looks like she's at the beach right now and Hello? she's living. Whoa. Yo. Amazing. Listen, if Eric can do it, anybody can do it. <laughs> Great job. Thanks. Great job, bud. Thanks, kiddo. Anyways, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's all from Eric and I today. Eric, congrats on your first perm. Thank you. you. Graduate hair school. I'm um, going to do like a thousand more of those. Don't forget to follow Eric and I on Instagram at BradmondoNYC at EricMondo underscore. And follow me on TikTok and Twitter at BradmondoNYC. You can also shop XMondo Hair. It's linked below. And follow us at XMondo Hair on Instagram. Woo! And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Hi beautiful. This is electric green, our moisture cream. Do you have damaged hair like me? Do you have curly hair not like me? And is it dry? Because guess what? Electric green is here. Applying a generous amount, your hair is gonna be much more hydrated and easier to work with and it's going to really help boost the shine and integrity of your hair.